Hey everybody, this is Veliko and I'm so excited to make this video because it's gonna be my first time driving a car on an actual racetrack. And specifically, I will drive my Lexus, not a Toyota. Um, and probably that's gonna make uh, some of you question like, you know, a Lexus on a racetrack. <laughs> but I will tell you the reasons why. Um, first of all is that uh, this actual Lexus has the sport package. Um, as you can see, the suspension is a lot uh, uh, tighter. Um, which results in like you can see me moving all around the place and also it comes with uh, wider uh, tires and all that and uh, that is a bit of a, a bit of a flaw with the, with my particular car when I'm on these uh, Serbian uh, unperfect roads and I just wanted to uh, explore that uh, full potential of the of this car um, and that's what the race tracks are for. I mean, I'm not a big fan of going fast on a highway and everything because I also want to, you know, to uh, experience the cornering, fast cornering and all that. Now, that, that said, I'm not gonna push this car to the absolute limit. I'm not gonna attack the every corner all the time. Um, first, I'm gonna go slowly. And what gives me uh, an extra confidence is that when I bought this car, it came with a Pirelli P0 tires at the back and the Michelin at the front. And those tires are probably the best tires if you want to go on a track. But even with the, the good tires, I was also a bit uh, scared because in April, in my country, it's still uh, not really a hot, hot days. Um, there's like oftentimes there's rain and all that. The track day is tomorrow and the forecast for tomorrow, thankfully, is only cloudy. So that, that's good, I mean, I'm not gonna, because I am a kind of uh, scared for this car to uh, went off track and break something, I don't know. Speaking of the car, um, I just bought this uh, Octane, as you can see, Octane Booster. Let's see if it's gonna uh, make any difference in car going even faster. Um, I've never tried that before. Okay, I just put the Octane booster, so now let's fuel the car. I'm back home and as you can see, the rain started and hopefully tomorrow it's not gonna rain. Anyway, I'm done with uh, fueling the car to the max and tomorrow just to clean my car. So excited and nervous at the same time. So I'll see you tomorrow. And here we are. Dobrodošli. <laughs> Dobrodošli. Okay, let's see. It's also my first time seeing the track. Oops. We bumpy. pumped we pumped the tires to uh, at the front 3 bars and 3.2 bars uh, at the at the rear. Show all the cars, not me. They're the star of the show. Wow!
And finally I entered the racetrack for the first time. It's not raining, it's just cloudy which is awesome. Now I forgot to turn off the traction control, um, but it's fine since I was learning the track and uh, seeing the corners and the braking zones and imagine the racing line. And I also left the transmission into automatic mode but it was a switch to sport mode that gives me an extra throttle response and the transmission stays in lower gear when I let go of the gas so it gives me engine braking. Now when I'm watching this uh, footage I actually look slow I mean I wasn't driving so fast but to me uh, everything appeared much faster and much more intense than these recorded videos that I'm watching right now. experience is like I, I wasn't expecting to sweat this much because of the g-forces and you're uh -huh. constantly fighting with the car like uh, you're a bo in a boxing match I was like sweating so much but I, I did pretty good um, I forgot to turn on turn off the the traction control and it killed the killed the speed killed the power when I was in middle of the middle of the corner 
and there were like a few insta instances <laughs> I can't even speak <laughs> there were a few instances where I like lose control I'm gonna show you I recorded it and yeah I'm actually surprised the car didn't show any faults um, the tires and brakes are all good um, yeah overall like amazing um, it's also very important you have to look for other other drivers constantly but overall it was so fun um, and so exhausting I feel like I lost I lost weight uh, no no wonder like there's a story like of drivers like they, they lose weight after the race well I guess it's I nice that you lost weight because <laughs> it prepares you for summer yes and I was eight and I don't know if it's in my class or total but I, my lap time was pretty good it's gonna be a lot faster because all of the laps all of the laps I did is like a mess like I was like, it's like I didn't know what I was doing <laughs> I was just my automatic brain I wasn't thinking so much and I wasn't in a highest gear in, in in the best gear possible in some corners I was in third but I should be in second thankfully this car has a lot of torque so it didn't matter that much but I think during my next try I'll be a lot faster and yeah that's all let's see what's what's gonna be my lap times later on all right awesome show the car a little bit oh I ended that's cool Ooh, buddy, buddy. What? Now on to the second stint and in this one it was the most dramatic one with the most action. And that's because I turned off the traction control and the car did this uh, when I was going too fast into the corner. Now I'm gonna repeat, in these uh, recorded videos it didn't look uh, that bad but in my case I was thinking like my car is damaged, my car is done. But happily my car is all fine so I can continue driving. And in the next clips you will also see me losing control but I had to learn the car if I want to put a decent lap so I wasn't backing down. And actually the spin that I had encouraged me to keep pushing and keep uh, trying. And during this spin my engine shut off and so I forgot to turn off the traction control. Now you probably noticed sometimes when I want to shift down manually the transmission doesn't want to shift down and it gives me a beep. And that's the only behavior that I didn't like about this car uh, on a racetrack. Because your RPMs needs to be uh, very low in order to downshift because it's protecting the engine. Um, and even in instances where I know it can downshift uh, but it doesn't want to downshift uh, to the point that it goes up to 5000 RPMs. And I ended up uh, exiting some corners in third gear but I was supposed to be in second. But nonetheless I tried to do a fast lap and this is the one.
but everything else as far as the car handling, the car handled fantastically. The steering is very precise, the throttle response is very very good in sport mode, the braking was very powerful for this heavy car. <laughs> Look how sweaty I am. <laughs> Did you record uh, how I crash? The... I spin. That that's what uh, when you take off, take off the turn off the traction control does. Before uh -huh. you just step on a gas and it's gonna just uh, shut down the power. Mm -hmm. Now you have to be a bit more um, a bit more sensitive with the gas. You are sweating, even your pants is sweating. It also takes takes your energy away, like you need to drink water, you can't just I know. Record the car a little bit, the car is the hero. Now because I wasn't so active lately, after a second stint I really felt out of energy. But I took a deep breath, I warmed up my tires, I waited for the perfect moment where there were no cars to get on my way and then I tried to do my best lap. I still think I could have done it better, but here it is. In the end I finished uh, 35th out of 60 cars. I am in the middle of the pack, um, which for a car this heavy and 208 horsepower, I would say I did pretty well. I have to say I am really satisfied with it. And I am even more happy to know that my car didn't have any faults and issues, but I can't say the same for the driver. I ate a bit of sandwich thinking it would give me energy, but it turns out that was a bad move.
thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.